I purchased this gold card from Facebook Marketplace. The seller said the battery died. However, I was able to turn it on and to see the LED lights on and the throttle lights on. However, when I tried to run it, simply wouldn't run. So let's open it up and see what happened. The way the gold card works is quite simple. It relies on four main components, the battery, the motor, the controller, and the throttle. When the gold card stops working, it's usually because one of these components has failed. You can see the connections between these parts in this schematic. The battery supplies the power, which flows through the controller and is controlled by the throttle. When the throttle is pressed, power is sent to the motor, causing it to run. To troubleshoot the gold card, we'll check each component in sequence. The issue with my gold card is that when I press the throttle, it makes a clicking sound, which is likely from the relay, and the wheel have a slight vibration, but then nothing else happens. So I've already charged the battery overnight, and I'm going to test whether it is the bad battery or something else. And we're going to use the multimeter to check the voltage for these two batteries. First, I'm going to check the voltage between these two lines. So one end connect to the red, the other end connect to this red. It shows 13.1. So that's good. That's greater than 12 volt. Connecting to the other battery, it shows 13.1. So that's also good. In hindsight, my method for checking the battery wasn't thorough. I only test the voltage without any load. I should have checked the voltage under load, specifically when the throttle is pressed. In this step, I'll use a method provided in the link that I include in the description. First, to check if the power is being supplied to the throttle, measure the voltage between pin 1 and pin 2. When I turn on the power, the voltage between pin 1 and 2 should be showing 5 volts. If that's the case, that indicating the controlling supplying the power to the throttle. Both point to volts. That's the power supplying the throttle. Next, check the voltage between pin 2 and pin 3. When the throttle is pressed, if the voltage is between 1 to 4 volts, it indicates the throttle is functioning and the controller is faulty. However, if the voltage is 0, it indicates the throttle is faulty. Between pin 2 and 3, it should show 1 to 4 volt when the throttle is twisted. 0.8 see 3.4 at this point it is clear that the batteries are likely the issue however i still want to perform a final test to ensure the motor is functioning properly to do this i used a bench power supply to replace the batteries and see if it can get the motor running so if i use the Bench top power supply to replace the battery basically by feeding the power directly to the controller, right? Originally it is coming from the battery, just to disconnect it and using the bench top power supply. By setting the voltage to 24 volt and then give it a limit of uh, 20 milliamp and see now it runs, right? Now that I figure out it is the battery, so I'm going to change the battery and see if that will fix the issue. It just so happened that I have an uh, extra pair of uh, battery. So let's switch it and see what happens. Alright, I think everything is connected. Now it's the moment of truth. Let's turn it on and see if it runs. Lights on, that's a great sign. There you go, it runs. Awesome. I'm gonna uh, have Aiden to test drive it. I'm Aiden and 
over there is Ian. So, welcome to the Crazy Fox Ada Ian channel. Make sure to watch and subscribe. And my dad just rebuilded this car. I mean, repair. So, we're ready to test it out. Okay, please like and subscribe and bye! Be never to subscribe and like, bye!